Hey, Don here. Down here in the corner. We're uh, got the Raspberry Pi <coughs> booted up and showing on the uh, LCD monitor. Going to uh, I've got all my apps that are that uh, I thought would be good and that worked. I installed a whole bunch and then I uninstalled several that didn't work right or had different languages, you know, that I couldn't understand. So um, now we're going to do uh, kind of a run through video. Okay, <coughs> we're back. <coughs> We've got our little wireless keyboard going. Raspberry Pi up and running. And uh, I'm go to the settings first. This is going to be, I'll kind of show what, uh, what I got installed. And uh, of course, I have to tell more than anything because you can't really read that. No, you can just kind of see there's stuff on there, that's all. Okay. Um, <coughs> well, it's right at 319 megabyte me free memory right now. Ended up with 2.4 gigabyte of free space on the uh, <coughs> pot main partition. And uh, the vi GPU, the video GPU is running 111 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. And so is the CPU, same thing. Oh, well, no, it's 113. Um, <clears throat> it kind of goes between that, and I think I've seen it at 120, 125 before, after it runs a while. So it... I'm having trouble getting around here. Okay, so it's uh, in the settings. Let's see. Oh, I... Uh, Everything's pretty well the same except for I figured out how to uh, get a slide, a picture slideshow. The only, there was only one visualization that would work. The others that are in there didn't work, uh, and I didn't like it. So I thought, well, I'd rather have a picture slide. That's a preview of it. Should come up here. Yeah, I put some. I, I, well, I had some pictures on my server. I, I hooked up to my server via via. Well, I FTP'd set up an FTP to my server uh, for the stuff that's on my web server that was e uh, easier than SMB and then uh, I think I set up an SMB to something else a Samba Windows Network connection but that's the uh, that's the screensaver and it set it for 60 minutes that's the far longest you could set it I'm kinda concerned it's gonna come on while you're watching the show if it ends up doing that then I'm gonna turn it off <coughs> um, and then uh, everything else is, you know, just you know, set to my preferences. You have, you just pretty well set what you what you like. Programs. Let's see. Um, I got Raspbian MC settings is standard. Came with it. I, I put on Web Viewer, XBMC Backup, XBMC Library Auto Update, and a couple others I tried out. Didn't uh, one of much use or didn't work well or something. Uh, there's a few that don't. There, every XBMC I've used from Fedora 14 to Fedora 17 to RaspBMC, they all have apps that uh, either, you know, crash the system or uh, or uh, some of them just don't play the video. Some of them it's just, I think, because they're so far away, you know, like in other parts of the world, it's too far to work files okay this is one thing I did <coughs> I added that right there that's my on my my web server and uh, you can I think you can no that doesn't do it I think you can right click in there to play I figured out that in some I think it's in picture yeah when you want to do a picture slideshow I'll show that in a minute if you want to do um, actually in the music if you play something uh, it'll show all the folders but if there's no no music in there it won't show anything uh, those are already I'm not going to take that folder off you know that goes with it but uh, if you start playing music it will just automatically play everything in that directory which is kind of cool um, so I did click on that oh it's playing but oh I forgot to plug in the audio 
I I think it's a rule that I have to forget at least one thing. I'm gonna pause it. I wouldn't do that while the other was playing. I don't think. Uh, I found out that some of these electronics are really sensitive. These newer electronics are sensitive. I blew out my audio chip on my Dell 600 laptop trying to test a speaker, an uh, amp setup that I had made, and uh, somehow. I was checking. I was just checking the connection on a uh, on a uh, female to female 3.5 millimeter connector to make the cable longer. And whenever I plugged, uh, unplugged it, and plugged it back in, it shorted it out. So, uh, so I don't. I think if you just don't have any s uh, signal coming to it, it helps. Of course, you hear that pop. So I don't know if that makes any difference, to be honest. But uh, anyway, now we got sound. I'm not going to turn it up because I also figured out that it's kind of quicker to hit pause on the keyboard and then hit end right oh well except for in this case where it's just going to play the next one so if you're going to stop it you're going to have to go down and use your mouse and fiddle around and find the stop button do you know with it up there like that oh I didn't know that was over there that was an accident but there we go I don't like that left menu because it usually has nothing that I want in it, but that time it did. It just keeps coming up and getting in my way, as far as I'm concerned. But there you go. you got to learn stuff. So, uh, <coughs> that's uh, on my server. It's, this is my web. This is actually my server that's my web server, not just my local server. And then, of course, there's your music add-ons. And I have several that I like on there. I won't go through them all. And, uh... Then add source. That's where you can add. That's how I go in there and, and added my uh, my server. <coughs> Pictures. <coughs> you can play music. Since I, I'm gonna start music again just to show that, but <coughs> I'm in the main folder of my pictures, and these are actually from a couple of different sources. Some of them are on my server couple of them are on this card. I put three pictures on this SD card just to kind of test it out using that. And these are separate folders. I don't guess you can read it, but see there's a bunch of files in that main folder and then there's a couple other folders in that folder. And then uh, of course it previews your pictures as you go through them. But um, what you can do is you get there at the top of that folder and hit the right click button and it you can have different options uh, picture information start pitch slideshow here uh, I want to get out of it because it seems that it was on one picture okay say so, uh, oh it's the mouse okay well I don't know it maybe let me get the mouse off there and try that again I think leaving that mouse where it was at was doing that okay so you don't actually have to use the mouse what well, yes you do okay let me try it again. <coughs> I forget things. Yeah, if you hit the right, if you hit the right mouse button, and you're just sitting there in a menu, it just takes you out of it. So what you have to do is put the mouse uh, at the top. Then you can hit the right mouse button. Recursive slideshow. Yes, yeah, that brings up a different menu. But recursive slide sli slideshow. Can't say that one time. Generate thumbnails. Go to root. Switch media settings. Okay. So what I want to do is recursive slideshow. <coughs> and uh, what you can do is you can already have music playing and then do and then go to the pictures and do this and you can you know watch your slideshow or let it kind of be going while you're walking around the house or whatever while your music's playing since uh, <coughs> I can't really turn the music up and disturb everybody enough to get pick up on the mic I won't try showing that but uh, um so that's what I've been trying to show ever since I got got first first video on this thing, and I guess I just didn't remember exactly how to do it. The picture add-ons I have several in mind because you know I have some uh, like Picasso and what all, Flickr and stuff. But this is for mom; she doesn't use any of that stuff. I just put Google in there in case she wanted to search search pictures on Google. It just shows uh, as long as you're not logged into Google, it won't show anything but family-friendly stuff. 
So on the side note there, <coughs> at least I don't think it will. If it does end up doing anything else, I'll, I'll delete that add-on. <coughs> um, mom friendly. <laughs> So, because uh, you know how searching images can be, you can get get all kinds of things you're not even looking for. You can get what you want or what you don't want. You never know. Um, yeah, of course, there's my weather. I, I like the uh, still like this weather. It's a, it gives a good quick forecast and uh, <coughs> and uh, and it has nice looking graphics. Okay, now videos. Go to files this time. Let's see. Yeah, there's a couple of files on the server now. There's where you can see. I can see it. It's. It, I put the name of it. Uh, the actual address. FTP Bishop Co. You know. And there's p videos in here. Um. There's not very much on there. I might put a couple more on there that might be useful. Like this is a how to use Crusader to FTP to a website that I made for this guy that I was trying to help out. And there is audio on this, but it's pretty low. And um, oh, I hit escape and it just took me back to the main menu, but it didn't stop the video. I always forget those little details. You need a stop button on here. I mean, it's just really one only thing I don't like so far about this keyboard really that and the touchpad but that's just me with touchpads I guess <coughs> so go back to videos um, add-ons is where really got this stuff going on uh, I'm just gonna kinda go through them well I'll say well I mean if it all depends on what you like so but I'm just gonna flip through them you can see there's I haven't counted them but there is a lot and some of them have extra areas within each one, especially things like PBS. I mean, you, you know how many, if you've ever watched any PBS, you know, how, or been to their website, you know how many different shows it has and all that stuff. And uh, there's everything from news to, uh, you know, you got old movies. There's not any new movies in here. Of course, the big movie companies aren't going to give away their, uh, they're not going to put that out there to watch for free, you know. <coughs> Uh, and then there's all the different movies, uh, video sites, and I figured I decided that YouTube itself, you know, I like YouTube, and I have, of course, I put videos on there. That's what I'm doing right now. But uh, YouTube channels is kind of cool because it gives you a straight link right to chat. You know, like it says, popular channels, channel search. That right there, I don't know what it is. Vid stats. You have to install it. I didn't mess with it. I think. Some about statistics or something. My channels, of course, you'd have to be logged in to do that. And on YouTube, <coughs> I didn't put a username in there, so it, again, it should be pretty mom friendly that way. Uh, if she wants to get to where she can save her favorites and all that sort of stuff, she'd have to. I'd have to make her a login. But uh, you can still search. You can still explore. Um, and it has, has some basic see there's live feed I didn't realize how much live stuff YouTube has now I knew they were doing some on some of the things that I like to watch like uh, that uh, Hot Rod Drag Week I watched that I watched hours, several hours of that live that was really cool uh, by Hot Rod Magazine but uh, let's see anyway categories feeds I don't even really know what that is music trailers so, uh, since it didn't have anything about channels in the regular YouTube, I went ahead and left that YouTube channels thing on there. I started to take it off just so there wouldn't be something kind of confusing, you know, like two YouTube things. And, uh, <coughs> so, classic cinema I've showed a hundred times. Some of them that I thought would be neat. There's NASCAR and f I don't watch the football and all that stuff, but ma uh, Mom actually does. And uh, so uh, I put all that on there, uh, NFL stuff like that. There's Fox and ABC News, ESPN. Uh, there's 
uh, FLW Outdoors. I think that must be from Australia or something, but let's see. I can't remember, but it, I mean, at least you can understand them. I can't remember. No, that might be American shows. Uh, I've previewed all of them, made sure they worked. How stuff works, I've watched a lot of those videos here and there over the years. <coughs> it's got some kind of neat stuff. Internet Archive, which I like for looking up old, really old stuff. But sometimes it's a little, it's been a little slow lately. I don't know uh, if it's going to keep being slow or not. And there's some pre pretty good little music video things on there, too. Let's see, what's that? Empora, I forgot. Oh, it's sports and snowboarding. Some pretty cool surfing and snowboarding videos. I sat there and watched all the, all the whole thing. I didn't just preview those. NBA, NASCAR. NASCAR was working. I hope, and then it got slow. I hope it's going to keep working because I like that. <coughs> PBS, for instance. Um, I think I've been into it a couple times. Seems like when I click, I'm not getting my click. I don't know if it's because I'm not hitting it right or... This, this keyboard, I still can't tell that that... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell that light that tells you that it's on is pretty bright, and I think it's bleeding over into the battery light. But uh, I keep thinking, is the battery light coming on? Is it finally going down? It's been, I swear it's been about almost three months now since I charged it up the first time. <coughs> I thought I would, <coughs> I need to test something, though. I'm going to plug it in to the Pi while it's running and see if it will charge it without some things when you plug it into the pod while it's running it jacks it up makes, might even make it crash so I want to see if they'll be able to charge the keyboard off the pie or if it's going to have to be charged off a computer <coughs> <coughs> you know I wasn't coughing or anything until I went to digging through everything to set all this up and then I got into some dust and now I'm coughing and wheezing <coughs> isn't that fun okay um programs topics let's look at topics yeah it just seems that I'm just not it's not taking when I hit it and a lot of times that means the battery's not you know in good shape but well there's no topic showing up but it may be that I'm just not really hitting the button straight on <coughs> okay I'll go to programs then because I know that usually that's where I go I think I don't know if I've used a search lately in PBS or not. It's coming in a little slow today. PBS sometimes comes in a little slow. Sometimes it comes in just fine. I think the first menu is a little slow because it takes so long to to uh, get all the, li the long list. They have a long list. American Experience is one that I've watched a few of that I like. I think my favorite must be Nova. It seems to be the one I always watch. <laughs> I get uh, notices. Maybe that's because the only one I signed up for. I get notices in my email when when Nova shows come out, and uh, most of them I like to watch. But see, it's coming in a little slow. And uh, I noticed the other day, I'm not doing anything else on the network. I was doing some. Actually, I was using the, uh, the a, la a different laptop to scan another computer for. Uh, duplicate files while I was trying to do this and it just was sitting here like this but now it's doing it for what reason I don't know I got rid of that route I took that router out that I thought was acting up now I'm starting sometimes it's slow sometimes it's fast on my other router so I'm beginning to think that router wasn't in as bad a shape as I thought they got a bunch of JFK stuff in there oh yeah they made a whole new JFK show 50th anniversary show Two parts looks like, unless they're going to keep going and make more. <coughs> Actually, sometimes when you hit start on a, on a video and it doesn't start, it's because it just it's you hit it twice and then it makes it restart. So you kind of have to be patient. See, that's how definition is coming in good. That's something I might watch some of. I don't think I could watch it all because it's just so sad. I was a kid. Uh, uh, see, I, li I, I grew up in... Uh, I was born in Fort Worth, Texas. And I watched Miss 
President John F. Kennedy drive down my street my, in front of our school before I went to Dallas and a few hours later he was shot. So it's still sad memory for me. Only president I ever saw in real life got killed that day. I was in first grade. Okay, so now paused it. Go forward, and it should just go to the end. And also, it, it uh, doesn't show it as watched when you do it that way. So that way, if you want to go back, and you don't want it to trick you and say that it's been watched when it really hasn't. Well, that's standard definition. That wasn't HD. I might have. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe it defaults to standard definition. I mean, it looks good. Looks good on the big monitor. So um, and it, on the TV, it won't make any difference whatsoever. So it should probably just set up, go through all of them and set them to SD. I did one of them. I was fixing to uninstall it, and when I clicked on the button, it brought up the settings menu. Clicked on it to uh, getting ready to uninstall it, and I noticed that it had, uh, you know, HD SD. So I thought, well, let's try SD, standard definition, and it played fine. And this one was really weird. It was uh, I don't remember which add-on it was, but it was uh, Pink Bike. That's about mountain biking and stuff. It's actually got good videos in it. Uh, <coughs> Red Bull's got some interesting stuff. You ever heard of that? Red Bull competitions and silly competitions and stuff. I like Revision 3. It's got all kinds of geek stuff and electronics and all kinds of stuff. But um, I lost what I was saying. Oh, that whatever add-on that was, I, was, I think it was Red Bull. I don't remember which one. It was just like like if it was a video format that it couldn't play, it was just a bunch of weird colors, and but you can hear the audio. And so I thought, well, I guess I'll have to under. And it did it three times in a row, so I, I had to. It locked it up. I had to power. I had to unplug it. I couldn't get it. It was locked up completely. I had to just unplug it. And so then I changed it. And I thought, well, I'll try it. And I changed it to SD standard definition. It played perfectly and didn't lock it up anymore. So some of those others I uninstalled that didn't work right. I might have been able to make them work by just changing the if it was available as you know all the same settings aren't available in all apps so you just got to go through it and see but they have a lot of different types of shows that I didn't know they had the only ones I'd really ever seen was Ben Heck the uh, guy, tr guy the gadget guy Mr. Gadget <coughs> and uh, another one about oh it's called Hack 5 I guess it's on there somewhere Let's go see if Hack 5 is on there. It tells you how to do all different kinds of hacking. <laughs> but it's there's a lot of shows on this uh, outfit that I... H-I-J-K-L-M. Going backwards. Whoa, I think I saw it. Oh, Geek Beak TV's on there. I used to, I like to look, watch that sometimes. Hack 5. <coughs> This this just a this is actually kind of a cute little girl. She actually from da in, from Dallas, and there's a guy with her now that uh, just talks about new technology and stuff. But uh, I don't think I'll start playing it. No point. <coughs> just take too long. But. Um, Uh, one thing that does bug me, because I just want to get back out of this menu, and I keep hitting escape, and where does it take me? It takes me back to there, the main menu. Okay, when I hit it again, it takes me back where I left off. So the only way to get back out of a long, long menu is to go bump, 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 bump. And I mean, it doesn't matter if you're using a mouse, a keyboard, or what. you still got to roll through every single one in there. Same thing in the add-ons menu. <coughs> You can't quickly get back out to, you know, go to a different menu. You have to tap, 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 tap. <clears throat> so I don't like that. Test tube is something about technical stuff. Most of the, a lot of these, there's about five of them on here like that that she probably would never watch. But I went and put them on there anyway. Wall Street Journal <coughs> worked, I think. <coughs> Let's see, Hollywood Reporter. She watches that kind of stuff. 
New Boston is a uh, it's educational videos, but it also uh, but it also had something else in there when I went into the other. It was just I can't remember what it was now, but uh, it's kind of cool. There was another one that that didn't work. That was that kind of thing. I wonder if it might have. If I changed the resolution, it might have worked. Now, it just I think it just wouldn't ever come in. It was too slow, and I got tired of messing with it. But this one works. Programming, computer science, other educational stuff. <coughs> I mean, if you seriously want to just kind of watch out of you know cl real classes, you know, chemistry, math, all this stuff. This is a college of, up in Boston, I guess. And they put it on there for everyone to watch. So, anyway, it was this talk documentary film thing. I think it's pretty decent. Conspiracy. I bet you that'll have some JFK stuff in it. <coughs> the World Order. I don't see one. There's probably something in there somewhere. But anyway, I, I believe it works good. And, uh, of course, you can get... M m probably... M you can get nothing but documentaries on PBS um, so anyway <coughs> that's basically kind of what I got on here and kind of a if you're not familiar with using the menus and stuff in uh, XBMC then that's kind of a quick rundown on how to do it and uh, I went in the music went to programs it was programs I didn't kind of go Backup takes a little while, so I won't do that right now. Library audio update. that You just let that do itself. Web viewer. I haven't really opened it up, so I'll open it up. Error loading page. I think it did that last time I opened it up. I guess it's working. I haven't really tried to use it. But it's just a real basic... It's a text web browser is what it is. It may not be working. What's, I've seen it work. Um, do something. Like, I'm gonna hit that. That looks like a home button. No, no home button. Oh, no, I made it. Finally, made it reload. <coughs> there. Now there's the main page. I guess it just didn't want to work. Then you do have a search. But w what it is good for, though. If you're going to use an add-on that you have to log on to the website, it'll automatically open up this little web browser, and you can actually have done it with some add-on. I don't remember in, in my laptop, but you can uh, <coughs> use this to log on to it, get it set up, get it set up. Um, I forget. I mean, you think you know, like when you're in the settings, you could just tap it in there, but then it, some of them it, it wants to go to the website for you to do it happen on that and it ain't doing nothing. Oh well that ain't the one I wanted anyway. Search. It brings up its own little funky search menu. That's why I was going to try to show it. Search in xbmc.org though, not Google search. There. Now, there it is. Uh can't think of anything to search. And then when you click on it though it brings up your regular log on. I'm just going to tap that in for the heck of it. <coughs> See what it says. It'll say something about XBMC though. Now I click the OK button. I don't think it did anything though. Let's see. I'm going to try enter. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I think I remember this. Yeah, you think you've done it, but you haven't. you got to click on that submit separately. So when you hit enter inside that typing window then you still have to hit search and it should have brought up some results over here in the left there was no results wa matching no results matching the query so anyway that's how the web browser works um, I was not actually trying to shut that yet it did it just because my finger was laying there anyway I was going to and I see I wasn't meaning to bring that up really really 
hard to use this touchpad the way you want to. I think it's harder than a laptop touchpad. It's it's weird the sensitivity sensitivity of it is sometimes it don't doesn't take and then other times it takes when you don't want it to, just like just then. I didn't I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to move talk and move my mouse around. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> that's why I avoided it as much as I can. Uh Got me into getting more add-ons, I think, now. That Ace Extra Pack and Eon, Aeon MQ5 Extra Pack, those are, they have more screens and, uh, you know, backgrounds and so and so, theme, themes, but I didn't try any because I, since the, the uh, Raspberry Pi is a slower machine, I thought, well, I, I've installed some on my laptop and some of them were, you know, heavy enough system use that uh, I didn't want to use them on a two, two, core two, two gigahertz laptop. So I certainly don't want to use them on a, I don't know which one, I don't remember which ones are which. So you'd have to really do some exploring to figure out which ones will work and which ones won't. <coughs> but, uh, let's see. Oh, that was disabled add-ons. I don't know how I got in there. Uh, let's get it out. Of that, yeah, somehow I was in the get more, but anyway, <coughs> in the Raspberry MC settings, uh, maybe, maybe, oh, I thought it didn't take, it was just taking a while to open up, oh yeah, it does that, so I've got all that set up the way I want it, and oh, here's something that I did. If I can get to the right place, I seem to just be squirrely and not able to think to navigate. Not leave. I didn't change any of that. I did put in a password. Um, <coughs> I left to just keep updates, and it didn't have. You know, I left most of it on the defaults. Um, oh, there it is system performance I noticed that and it has advanced overclocking which I wouldn't mess with but I tried uh, there's normal fast and super fast or something like that I tried super fast and it just kept rebooting and jacking up so I thought well it can't handle that and then I put it on fast and it actually helped because it was really laggy and it's, it does perform better on fast than it did on normal I think so it has a server. Is, it does have some server management in here. It's got an FTP server and SSH server. I like the SSH because uh, that's how I added those files into it. I got on my other machine and copied them over from logged in. I set up a <coughs> well. Uh, the password I set up above there is what what you use. And it has an SM Samba server. It has remote control. I went and looked at that. You go to the IP of your of your pilot look in your router and find out its IP and I guess you might be able to do it by host name I don't know but I use the IP and uh, it actually didn't ask you to log in and you can pause it and play it and if there were any files on your SD card then it would show them up but I don't have have anything any you know any video or music files on there I didn't mess with any of the rest of it <coughs> uh, VNC server I turned that on and all you could do is just view it. You couldn't control it because I thought, well, that'd be good for those times when uh, your monitor uh, thought you might be able to, you know, instead of having to unplug it to shut it down, you might be able to shut it down from over there. Sometimes you can do that on a VNC server even though the machine seems locked up uh, on your screen, on your monitor that you're using. Well, not real, not really very often. <coughs> but uh, if you're uh, if you lost your monitor for, some, for whatever reason, uh, if it wasn't working, no display was working, uh, you could still see it through VNC and uh, fix it. But not this because it's only a it's only a view only. It's not a control. So, and plus, I think it seemed to me like it slowed down the system a little bit. I'm not sure if it did or not. That was before I did that all before I speeded it up. So I don't know. It, but since it was a view only, I didn't see any way to turn on uh, to allow it to be controlled. It just says VNC server. It doesn't s no controls in there that I could find. I didn't 
Yeah, so I right clicked and it just took me out. <coughs> okay, so there's no controls in there that I can see. Uh, so I didn't... I left that off. But it could be an interesting thing. You might want to use it for something. Uh, some of that couple of those things there. I don't know what a SAB NZBD is. And I don't know what Deluge client is. Disable firewall. Well, I wouldn't want to do that. And then there's some remote settings. Enable repeat filter that was already on. Enable GPIO TSOP our receiver. Well, I don't actually know what that is either. Uh, if you had a camera, uh, enable surveillance nanny cam. So I guess I don't I don't see how you could run a camera on this Pi and have XBMC run. I don't think it could handle it. But they have it in there like like they think you could. <coughs> Maybe you could. Let's see. So that's all the apps that I put in. Most of them you don't really. The only thing you might really use is the. Uh, web viewer probably only if one of these if you were wanting to log into an app and it, it would help you it would just automatically should automatically open up if it's needed so um that's about it playlist I have not tried to mess I messed with that for quite a bit on my laptop I couldn't get one single no matter how I set it up I couldn't get one to work so I tried local files, I tried using, you know, I thought maybe you could save the ones you liked from all these <coughs> add-ons and watch them, you know, all in a row, but I couldn't see it. I couldn't get to, it's supposed to scrape and find particular types automatically and all that stuff, but I couldn't get it to work. And the top, I assume what bass the last place I was at, I guess, top documentaries, films. But uh, biography. This one works pretty quickly. Elvis. Top one is Elvis. 2007. The last 24 hours. Hmm. Never heard of that one. Zuckerberg. There's several people in there. And then there's more pages of it. I clicked on it, but it didn't come in yet. So I don't know if it didn't work. Slow. <coughs> I didn't see a X. You know, make an X when it won't work. Sometimes they do that. It says video is not available. Oh, so if you pay attention, it'll tell you. Wonder if Zuckerberg's works. It is not available. Well, that's weird. So that happens with some of these sites. You hit and miss on what's going to work. That one seems like it's going to work. The House of Rothschild, The Money's Profits, 1998. Oh. Secret History of 19th Century Bear Bond Market. Now let's take a look at the role of the Rothschild family, the family said to be the wealthiest in the world. Hmm. That might be. That's a pretty old 1998 video, video but uh, might be interesting. <coughs> I've heard the name, but I don't know anything about them. I don't follow the rich and famous. Don't know any of them. They don't call me. I don't call them. <coughs> okay. Um, I can't think of anything else. and No use in just going on and on. So, that's uh, kind of my rundown on what I, how I've got it set up and maybe a little bit on anybody that doesn't know how to get through and how to navigate this uh, and how to set up real basic of course I didn't go into any details but uh, that's how to run XBMC or RASBMC is what this one is a remix of XBMC for the Raspberry Pi so um, this is Dawn and that's it for this one Thanks for watching. Gotta find my mouse. <coughs>